Yeah. We want mother, father, you know, dual parent. Mm -hmm. We want that kid to be three, five and up because he's got to be smart. Mm -hmm. um, not bad decisions off the field. Uh, at all mm -hmm. because he has to be a leader of men It's so many different attributes and what we look for uh, physical I mean offensive line my defense line is totally opposite what do you mean single mama <laughs> 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 wow. trying to get it uh, he's on free lunch I mean like uh, uh, I mean I'm talking about just trying to make it he trying to rescue mama like mama barely made the flight most coaches understand this and you guys heard him he said you know single mother home all that guy want to do is get his mother out of the projects get his mother out of poverty because what do these dudes say when they're getting these awards or get drafted or or been in the league for a couple of years man you know my greatest accomplishment was Getting my mama out of the project. Getting my mama out of the hood. Like, no, your greatest accomplishment was making it to the f***ing NFL. You know less than 0.8% of athletes actually go to the NFL. Do you guys know that? Like, to make that cut is amazing. What's going on, folks? This is your boy, Dutch. I'm um, glad you guys can make it to the channel. And if you are finding me on YouTube for the first time, please, 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 please do me a favor. Hit that like button. And if you like, really, 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 really enjoy this content, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. But I'm going to come outside today to do this video. And the reason I'm going to come outside is because it feels good, first of all. And, you know, I just want a new little scenery for you guys, right? Now, <laughs> I just came across something on Instagram minutes ago, minutes ago, minutes ago. And it just had me laughing a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And it's about Deion Sanders. And he basically said... You know, he, he, he looks for in his athletes um, certain attributes and these attributes should, you know, be a 3.5 GPA. You know, you got you to gotta have smart athletes, man, because, you know, you don't want them out there doing stupid stuff. You want, you know, logical athletes. You want people who, you know, you know, pay attention in class and do their work and all of these things, baby. That's what you want. You, you, I think all of us can agree on that aspect. You, you, come on, man. You don't want a stupid person playing for you, right? And he also said one more thing. He said he don't really want athletes to come from single mother homes. Hmm, interesting. See, a lot of people will agree with the first one. They'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you need to, you need to at least have a, a GPA of 3.5. That's what you need, man. So why don't we um, say to, to that, like, man, you know, it's a lot of people out here who are, who are, who are athletic and, you know, they got a 1.5 GPA. Why don't we, why don't we argue for that? Because it's, it, it's agree, it's agreed upon that, you know, you have to have certain standards to get certain things in this world, right? So why did people get mad at him for saying something that's so obvious that that is actually true that, you know, who wants? OK, look, am I saying that every person that comes from a single mother home is not good at playing football or basketball or whatever? And would prosper and would never get in any trouble and make great decisions. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that that everybody that comes from a single mother home would or can't do those things. What I'm saying is, and I believe what Deion Sanders is saying is, I don't take chances like that. At the end of the day, you got to understand that this is 
a college to where we're at a, the top of our game. You see what I'm saying? This right here is 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 like you know first class um, football right here. We 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 don't need to be taking chances on these dudes, you know, acting a certain way because most men who act in a way of unprofessionalism, who act in a way of not having logic, common sense, and reason. Most people who act like that come from single mother homes. And that's what I talk about on this channel all the time. And Deion Sanders understands this. Deion Sanders understands that most coaches understand this. And you guys heard him. He said, you know, single mother home, all that guy want to do is get his mother out of the projects, get his mother out of poverty. He don't really want to play the game because what do these dudes say when they're getting these awards or get drafted or or been in the league for a couple of years? Man, you know, my greatest accomplishment was getting my mama out of the project, getting my mama out of the hood. Like, no, your greatest accomplishment was making it to the fucking NFL. You know, less than 0.8% of athletes actually go to the NFL. Do you guys know that? Like, to make that cut is amazing. But your highest achievement was getting your mama out of the hood. But, like I said, we... Always look at the outlier. We always want to make it to where we're, you know, protecting the exception. We never want to acknowledge the rule. And the rule is most people in prison right now are from single mother homes. Most teen pre pregnancies are from single mother homes. Most people with how they high school diploma are from single mother homes. Most people who commit crimes are from single mother homes. Most people that do all negative shit comes from single mother homes. So why wouldn't Deion Sanders want to keep that out of his program that's all i got y'all go down in the comment section tell me what you think and on top of that if you are stay unplugged from false narratives i'm out peace